Good morning. So today's presentation topic and the main topic for today's discussion is components of highway or components of information super highway. So uh, these are the presentation topics which we are going to discuss in this video. That is, we'll have an introduction of what information super highway is. And we'll see what market forces are influencing this super highway and what are the main components of highway. Okay. And so the main objectives which we are going to cover in this video is that you should be able to cl clarify what highway is, that is our information super highway. And we'll see what are the uh, market forces that is going to influence your highway. And we'll illustrate the components of highway with examples in a detailed manner. So this is the main objective of providing this video today. Okay, so uh, I should give you an introduction of what highway is. Before that, you should understand electronic commerce needs a network infrastructure to transport the content. That is, whatever it may be a data or maybe an audio, or visual, text, animation, and anything it may be. This electronic commerce will always need a network infrastructure to transport these contents. Okay, so this network infrastructure is provided by what is known as this highway. So how this network infrastructure is going to be provided for e-commerce purpose, that is known as this highway or information super highway. Okay, so that is the history of this highway is given. That is, it is it was introduced by Al Gore and it was during 1994 and this term inter, uh, information superhighway was introduced by this person. So information superhighway allow us to share information, to connect and to communicate as a global community. So this highway is something like a pipeline which will help you to connect as a global community. Okay, so let us see the meaning. What do you mean by information superhighway? So information superhighway may be defined as a high capacity electronic pipeline. Okay, as I told you, it's a high capacity electronic pipeline to a consumer or a business premise that is capable of simultaneously supporting a large number of e-commerce applications. So it may be for a particular consumer or it will be for a uh, business organization or a group of uh, business which is capable of simultaneously supporting a large number of e-commerce applications, okay? And providing interactive connectivity between this users and the services. So you cannot simply uh, have uh, like the communication between a manufacturer and a consumer in a network. So in order to provide that infrastructure, this information superhighway term or this strategy is being introduced in e-commerce. That is why it's very important to have an infrastructure like this. And so as learning e-commerce, you should also understand how this works and what are the infrastructures available uh, in and what are the components available in this kind of of, uh, highways okay next what are the market forces that are going to influence this type of highways so if you simply say they are the demand and uh, requirements of market participants so according to the requirements of uh, the users that will influence the uh, like the infrastructure or the framing of this highways Okay, and next users becoming information publishers. Okay, always users are the main people. So demand of the users, requirement of the users or so users as the whole is a uh, market force which is influencing IV. Next is consumers, end users. So if I were, if I would this this demand and requirement of market participants are these people like users, consumers. ISPs like commercial, government or private people. Next, value added information providers includes third party brokers, intermediaries and originators of services who add value to service provided by others. Okay, so these are the main factors which will influence the highway uh, infrastructure. Okay, 
and uh, if i would say the second main factor is strategic alliances and highway infrastructure so strategic alliances of uh, this uh market forces um, or the highway infrastructure is also another thing which will affect your highway highway okay so that is large resource requirement if you are requiring uh very large resources for just um one uh like framing of one infrastructure then that is one of the force which is influencing your highway secondly alliance between communication entertainment and information sectors and thirdly alliance to reduce risk spread cost and acquire costly expertise in different area instantly so this information uh, highway or um, information uh, infrastructure is not very cheap to be uh, constructed so it it requires a lot of cost so these are some of the factors which will affect your uh highway infrastructure directly and indirectly okay so this is the main components of highway so main components of highway it consists of uh, various components which are broadly classified okay these are the broad classification as network access equipments and um, access media or local on ramps next is global infrastructure distribution network so under network access equipments you can see so many factors like consumer business premises equipments like that and under um, access media or local on ramps you can see t television based infrastructure cable tv based infrastructure wireless infrastructure commercial online infrastructure and so on okay and in global information distribution network you can see it's like satellite networks and all, all those things so we'll see all these components in detail uh so if i would say network access equipment is the first component okay which is at the consumer end and enables the consumer to access the network so always this network access equipment is in the consumer end so it is very easy for a consumer to access the network this equipment will make the consumer easy to access the network okay it consists of hardware such as wired computers modems routers switchers so setup boxes like that so if you see uh, by using a setup box what are we going to do if you have a setup box at home it will help you to watch television uh, you can access so many channels you can subscribe for so many channels and all those things no so that is one equipment which will help you to access one particular network okay so that is one example digital switches routers hubs and all all these things are network access equipment so just remember uh, first component of highway is network access equipment it is an equipment which is always available at the consumer end and it will help the consumer to access any network so some of the examples of these network access equipments are these set up boxes computer based technology maybe your computers digital switches routers and hubs okay next is access road or media or local on ramps so what is that it provides the communication backbone for transmission of data and information so you are a consumer you have accessed one network using network access equipment now this access road or media will help you to uh, transmit your data and information so what happens is that the access providers may be differentiated so uh, it will be differentiated on different categories and based on that access providers you can access different things so let us see what are they they are differentiated into different categories as i told you the major type of categories are television based infrastructure which we saw in that picture next is cable tv based infrastructure uh, next is infra uh, sorry wireless uh infrastructure next is uh, internet or commercial online infrastructure so let us see the 
so if you see this is telephone based infrastructure so uh, you can see uh, from your home you can connect it to anywhere like anywhere in the world okay so telecom industry or telephone industry provide both long distance and local telephone services for e-commerce application so if even if it is an international way or long distance or it's a local it will help you and the telecom companies provide a high speed pipeline cables for carrying high volumes of interactive voice uh, if you if i would say an example for this telephone or telecom based infrastructure you can uh, simply see the fiber uh, cables which will help you to access the wi-fi in your uh, computers if you are taking a wi-fi connection at your home that particular fiber cable or fiber optic cable will come under this telephone or telecom based infrastructure okay so uh, in our organizations everywhere we are having wi-fi settings that wi-fi setting is one of the type of telecom based infrastructure next is cable tv based infrastructure okay so this cable tv based infrastructure will provide a popular media for pushing high speed data to homes okay so uh, you can see you have a cable modem here and you have a setup box here and uh, you can uh, access any uh, channels from the satellite dish or from the cable company server so always if you have a setup box you always have to access the channels from the cable companies server and then uh, based on the where from where this cable company is getting the channels it will get directly from the satellite like a satellite dishes so cable company's permanent internet connection will be there and from that he will get the channels from this he will provide it to the your setup box from from this setup box you will get it in, to your tv or your like your uh, laptop or wherever it is so this is cable tv based infrastructure next is wireless infrastructure okay so in case of wireless infrastructure it will be like uh, something like uh, typically a radio based it is always a radio based that is cellular paper and specialized mobile radio based okay so wireless based system have revolution the ways of thinking about information de uh, delivery so what happens is that apart from the voice calls the cellular technology today has also facilitated short messaging services so so many services are provided by today's wireless infrastructure like you can see it is connected to so many places uh, wherever in the world so by using a simple wireless infrastructure you can connect it to any part of the world and it is uh, providing so many applications and uh, so many infrastructures and equipments are provided in today's day okay and what is uh, next is global information distribution network global information distribution network it is a network which is providing the infrastructure for connecting across the countries and continents so it is like a long distance which is used for long distance which i told you like telephone or telecom based infrastructure was uh, one of a part of local on ram infrastructure or equipment no so that is all possible national wise local wise and everything mm -hmm. this case is possible in long distance way so they include such network uh, long distance telephone lines satellite networks and internet so basically if you if i would say there are uh, three main components of um uh, iway first component is network access equipment second one is access road or media through which you're connecting and the third one is global information distribution network so with this these uh, you can your uh, topic for today is over So if you have any queries you are free to ask me so thank you